okay, this is to make sure that I remember how to do a tiled artboard in my antiquated Adobe Illustrator CS3. So let's say I want to create a new artboard that can be manipulated into specific tiles for a tiled PDF print. I'm going to go to File, New Document, which I already had, and let's say that I want my finished marginable area to be seven and a half inches wide by 10 inches long for each so-called page boundary. And let's say I want it to, to be four pages across and four pages down. So I would use my calculator because I am not Rain Man and I cannot figure these things out in my head. So I am going to go 7.5 times four across would give me 30 inches. And guess what? I can figure out that 10 inches stacked four high is 40 inches. Yay. So I'm going to choose 30 inches by 40 inches and I'm going to say okay well there's an advanced tab but uh, yeah sure that's all fine all right so now I have my nice big artboard here that will in totality finish 30 inches by 40 inches but I do need to see some guides there so what I'm going to do, if I remember this correctly, since I just did it five minutes ago, is go to File, Document Setup, I sure, no, Print, sorry, not Document Setup, you would think it would be Document Setup, but it's actually going to be, well, maybe it is Document Setup, no, it is not Document Setup, I questioned myself, it is going to be Print, so we're going to go to print. I'm not going to choose my printer. That did not seem to work out the last time. I'm going to choose Adobe PDF. And I'm going to choose a custom page size, which is not going to be 30 by 40 inch. It's going to be 7.5 by 10. And click off something so that engages. And I'm going to do do not scale setup here we go tile full pages now since I did the math ahead of time I already have nice neat squares here so now I'm going to say done believe it or not so I say done but now guess what I don't see my page separations to create that magic, I'm going to go to View, da, 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 Show Page Tiling. Now I have my page tiling, and an added bonus is it actually gives me the page numbers, which I love. So now I'm going to preserve this as a template. I'm going to save it, and the other thing that I can do is when I start bringing junk onto here. I can go to my layers. If you don't see layers, you can go to window and make sure layers is checked and then this will show up here. So I'm, I would go to layers. Oops, I got lost there. I have my navigator guy handy. So here under layers, I go down here, say create new layer. So I can click on layer two and I can add things to this template and it would just be on the second layer. So by doing layers, I don't make it too crowded and too difficult to edit aspects side by side. For example, I might want to have large page numbers on here to show an overall kind of blueprint, blueprint shot of what the tiled orientation is of the whole pattern or the whole print that I'm going to do but I would want to turn off that layer when I go to produce these as an actual PDF. So now here on layer two, I've put a pattern piece up here. And you can see it fits across the multiple tiles. And I'm actually going to 
and I'm only on layer two right now. So I can select this and I guess I'm not smart enough to move it. I guess I'm not. Uh, let's try this guy. As you, there we go. As you can see, much of what I learn is by trial and error of clicking on the buttons instead of actually reading the instruction manual. So in any event, we see that this pattern piece goes from one to three and down three layers as well. So if I wanted to, I could choose to print just these pieces. So now if I were going to really print this to save this as a PDF, I would go to File, Save As, in Adobe Illustrator, we see from the drop down menu, we actually have uh, several options, but the default is AI, of course. So I'm going to save it to Adobe PDF and I'm going to call it Trying Out Tiling. And I'm going to click Save As. And I don't need to create to choose any of these special editing capabilities. Uh, I will view the PDF after saving. Creating Acrobat layers is a totally different situation or a situation for another tutorial or another video. But I am going to create a multi-page PDF from the page tiles. Now if I was doing this for real and making it fancy, I might actually do some marks in each corner of the page so that once you print out each individual page, you'll have a reference mark for where the pages butt up against each other, where the margins overlap, so that you have a continuous accurate line of your pattern piece or whatever it is that you're printing from one page to the next. So let's do the magic. Save PDF. I'm going to click OK. Yes, I know I'm not preserving anything special here. And so now you see, I'm at 125 percent, we see page one, page two, page three. We know that's going to be the the uppermost part of the the back shirt piece that I have, the sides. What I really wish is that is that Acrobat Reader, I know it will allow me to view page display, two page view scrolling if I choose, but I wish in the future that they would let us view however many pages across that we want. So if we knew that this PDF was a four page across orientation, I wish it would give me that option to see four pages. Then I could really see what's going on. Uh, it shows me accurately the first two pages of the top row, but then we lose that accuracy, of course, once we get to the other rows because this was hypothetically intended to be a four page across orientation. So, hey, Adobe Acrobat people, can you please do that for us? people who print out and create sewing patterns, that would be very helpful of you. Uh, that's it. So hopefully this video has helped you a little bit and it will help me from forgetting how to do this again.